Hello everybody, Andrew Gray here for some more Heroes of the Storms. We're with, with Zeratul yet again. Um, and the friendly team is a Kel'Thas, a Sonya, an Uther, and Tassadar, uh, with myself, against Alili, Jane, and Azebo, or Tanis and Malfurion. Today we are going to try a pure uh, damage build. So we're going for pure burst, and in order to do that, we're going to start off with Greater Cleave. So it increases our Rages of Cleave. Q there. Two. That. So far wider. Uh, which is a good thing in this case. So we'll carry on. Uh, we're going to roam around a little bit. The idea of this is we get in, uh, we do a load of damage very, very quickly. Uh, and then we get out again when we can. There we go. Taking Melee out very, very quickly there. Um, and we'll go up to the top here and see if we can help Uther out at all. There's no need for us to stay around in lanes in order to um, in, or to gather stacks of anything. Uh... Okay, we'll just get out of the way of the towers there. We'll mount up and we'll go and help out um, our Lily there. So, so far we're doing pretty well. Um, we've got two kills of the enemy team already. Um, they're fighting too close. Fighting too close there to do any damage. Um, let's see if we can come down here and help take out this Nazebo at all. Nazebo is very close to the towers as well. Can't really do anything there. Okay, we need to get them to back up. We need to, we need to let them back up if we're going to secure kills. Otherwise, um, this is fine. This is fine. Okay, we need to get up top. Okay then, so one kill, one assist, uh, and 2,000 hero damage so far. We we need to stop fighting here and go up top. Uh, for our next, we are going to take Gathering Power. Uh, we are going to retreat here. Gathering Power um, what it, so each hero takedown increases ability power by 2% up to 30% but it's lost on death. All we need to make sure is we've got kill participation in order to get that. Uh, again if we die we lose it but the idea is it powers up our Q and our W ability. So when we get kills and we get kills with those in and this Jainer over here is looking decidedly unprotected there. Um, we gain power. We need to get out of here quickly uh, because we're low on health. We'll deal some damage on our way out. And we'll just hop off the wall and grab some health here. We already have 6% extra ability power now from those. We need to be careful, Jane is coming back in again. Uh, all their squishies are lined up. We haven't got an amazing amount of health. Uh, let's save that to get out with. And we're dead. Just too late to hit off the queue, so we've lost those uh, power stacks now. Uh, we're going to lose getting the... Um, again, the Punisher as well, which is a um, shame. We were too focused on team fighting and not enough focus on the objective itself. Uh, this is, by the way, one of my better builds. I, I have a lot of fun playing this build, uh, especially when you're against squishies. Against non-squishies teams, it doesn't work quite as well. Um, 
can't really make anything happen there, but we can start taking this down now. Uh, let's get out of the way of the enemy team, because they're coming in, and we should allow our towers to finish off that Punisher. And we'll get out of the way of there. And we'll just uh, finish taking care of this wave. Okay, our next talent is going to be Void Dash, slash even. Deals more damage while cloaked, so if we hit Q and come out of cloak, uh, within a second after coming out of cloak, it deals um, more damage. It deals 30% more damage. I can't do anything up top against Altana, so I'm going to come away from top. And see where the enemy team is going. They're coming down mid. Not a lot I can do there because they're too close to the towers. We need some help up top because we've got um, a oh, Okay, let's take care of this. Uh, the rest of the teams are fighting in mid at the moment for some reason. Okay, let's go and join the rest of the team here. Um, there's not a lot I can take advantage of there at the moment. It's just all grouped together. Um, well. Take a drink out of here for a health, and then we'll come down and see if there's anything we can do in here. Um, there's a lot happening, but not a lot I can really do. So we're going to lose this objective again because we're fighting off the objective and not on it. Uh, we really need to get in there. They have now got rid of most of their mana, so we can do this. However, they only need four more in order to uh, get the objective. Get out of here quickly, and we cannot. Uh, quickly trying to spam E there to get out, but we were just completely cut off. We're going to go for Void Prison again for a level 10 talent. Uh, our problem is we're too busy engaging on team fights and not engaging on the objective. It's worth no pointing out that the enemy team is a team of four with a solo cure as well. Uh, and this is an arcane pun punisher who seem to be more difficult to deal with than all the rest because of the nature of their um, AOE lines they put down. What do you call those? I don't know. Uh, but we've done the right thing and we're getting it over the top of the base, uh, over the wall there. And now we can just concentrate on keeping it down. Looks like we've got a kill on Malfurion. Uh, And we'll try and help our Sonya escape there just by stopping the enemy team coming in with our Void Prison. Uh, we'll go and put a slow there. And we'll see if we can do any damage here. We cannot. We are slowed. We are trying to make our way out of there. But it's very, very slow. Uh, Jane are doing some damage up at the top while we're trying to defend bottom and the Zebo mid. Uh, we've got three kills and five assists so far. 
We have died twice though. Uh, Jane looks like she's around. Let's take a sip. Uh, and hopefully our presence will be enough for them to go off. Oh, Keltas coming down to help us out here. Um, we just need to clear it out. There's a whole lot going on down the bottom for some reason. I'm not quite sure why we're fighting that. Uh, I'm not sure at all. Okay, I used my E to engage there, which was a mistake. We need to get out of here quick. Okay, Lily is out of mana, but unfortunately we can't take advantage because the rest of the team is around there. Oh, look what I found down here. Okay, so we were only a little bit too deep. We should have got out there quick, but we did use our Void Prison to nicely stop any help coming in there. Didn't quite work out for us, though. Um, three deaths. We need to be careful a bit more on our positioning. We're all out of health and mana, so the whole team should be recalling now. Uther, recall. Right, we need to get our act together as a team. Um, it's a trap. The baiting was in there. I'm not quite sure what Kelthas was planning on doing there. Uh, Quickly, two seconds before we can blink, and we got a nice little heal from Uther there as well, which is great. Uh, we are going to go giant killer because we need it, uh, especially against our Tannis and the like. Two seconds on Void Prism. Uh, nope. That's fine, we'll just get out of here quickly. Uh, and we will tap that. The demons have unleashed a frozen punisher. Uh, our Kel'thas is going to die again. And our Sonya's going up there for some reason. Okay, I'm rooted and I need to get out. Okay, let's go and get some health. Uh, who died? Sonya. What was she doing? Let's go up and clear top. I must go back. Looks like we're taking a camp. Uh, I will try and hold off this camp as much as I possibly can, uh, but we do not have the wave clear needed, and I'm going to have to get out of there. And we're going to have to recall to get some health and mana. Hopefully they can... Yes, we should be able to fight that off with another camp. We are being outplayed here, everyone, because we are against a team of four and they look like they probably have an idea and played together before. Um, yeah, there's going to be a lot of... They're going to push mid. I 
thought that was somebody else. I didn't think that was ours. Uh, nope, we're not going to be able to get that kill. So we'll just clear this wave, mount up and go and help our people over at mid there who are getting pushed quite hard. Okay, we're going to get out of the way of this, we're going to get some health while we're doing it, and then we're going to mount up uh, and come down and help our Tassadar get rid of this, not that he needs a lot of help. Uh, there's some pressure going on down the bottom, but I don't want any part of our Tannis. So we're going to try and head up top. Uh, Uther is just sitting in base. Uh, do some clear here. Okay, now we know the enemy team is here. There's no great surprise there. We're just waiting for a friendly team to come up and help us out. But they are going to be too late. Our foe has summoned a mortar punisher. Uh, so we need to... Retreat. Uh, we are going to go with Rending Cleave, so that uh, deals additional damage over time with our Q ability. We have not won a single one of these, and we're too late in getting it over the wall as well, which doesn't make life easy. Uh, we're going to retreat away from this. Uh, and we're going to blink away and we're going to try and get this further out. So um, it's going to be a fairly short match, I think, this one. We're, we are outclassed a little bit. There have not been a whole... Let's, uh, let's stasis that. Hopefully get our guys to be able to come up. Um, we have no hope of winning this, quite frankly. Uh, and that, that is good game. Well. We shall strike back. This is usually a really fun build to play, and I did enjoy that game. However, we weren't coming together as a team, and we were outplayed by the other team. That team of four. Um, so who was it? It was Lili was the solo, and then the Jane and the Zebar, Tannis and Malfurion were all together in a single team. And I think that shows in the quality of the game we had there. Um, Sonya died seven times on our team. Admittedly getting six kills, but is that really worth the seven deaths? I would venture not. We did get three kills, we got nine assists, three deaths, we did 27,000 hero damage, which isn't great. You're never ever going to top your hero damage charts, hopefully. Um, you're there to clean up kills. That's all you're there for as um, Zeratul. Nothing else. The talents we went for is Greater Cleave, so increases the radius by a third. We then went for Gathering Power, which uh, Hero takes takedowns increase our ability power by 2%. Then we went for Voice Slash, so Cleave deals 30% increased damage if used from Cloak or within a second of coming out of Cloak. Void Prison. Then Giant Killer, uh, important for the more tankier heroes, like, um, well, Artanis, really, it, I took it far. Then we went for Rending Cleave, dealing a 50% additional 50% damage over 5 seconds on our Cleave. Uh, and then... At 20, I would have probably gone for Rewind or maybe Void Prison. Probably Rewind, to be honest. So then you can hit Q, 1Q uh, to stack up those damage over times and also just the general damage as well. Um, sorry that wasn't the best game to show it off in, to be honest. Um, but again, I'd, I'd say give it a try for yourself, this particular build. It's interesting. It's Once you've got your positioning, it's just a case of waiting for your opportunity going in, doing the damage and getting out again. 
you may be interested in picking up Wormhole, but I'm not confident in landing that myself, so that's why I didn't take it. Anyway, thank you all very much for watching. Like if you like it, dislike it if you didn't like it, and I will see you for the f final... I shouldn't say final because I don't know in what order I'm putting out these videos, but I'll see you for the next Zeratul video um, shortly. Goodbye.